Hello, hello, I'm Thomas, and today you join me inside the 2023 Toyota Aigo X Undercover Edition. Now, I'm super excited to bring you this. Not only have we been eager to drive the new Aigo X as a previous Toyota IQ owner, I've also driven the second generation Aigo and I thought it was a great fun car. This is like top fun for me because this is like a fun car with a fun trim to it as well. This is the undercover edition. So we have all these flashes of red through the cabin. We've got chaos written on the roof of the car. We've got chaos on the, the floor seats. I feel like this should be a TGE video the amount of times I'm saying chaos, but wow, you're going to love this. It even says undercover here on the seats. So let me flip the camera around to give you a quick glimpse of it. We'll crack on, I'll do some filming and then we'll do the full review and you'll check that out on the next video. So let me flip the camera around. So here we have the like, Toyota steering wheel, flash of red, woohoo! We've got this flash of red round the centre console here, like that's super fun. We've got this flash of red again round the manual gear selector, which save the manuals. We've also got chaos and balance here on the floor mats, which I think it's just really cool, really cool, like young, hip, fun. I don't know, it's just like really cool pattern. I've never seen anything like that before. As I mentioned at the beginning there, we do have undercover on the seat as well, so people know what model you've got. You've got this funky like pattern here. We do have this kind of red, red trim just here with the red stitching, similar to what we've seen in the Toyota Yaris Cross GR. Now we do have door painted and exterior painted interior trim pieces you know i have seen that on other eagles before but all in all pretty fun and impressive like the steering wheel's a nice feel similar buttons to what we've seen on the yaris cross with your adaptive cruise control and then the left hand side here for your buttons here to control the little screen your volume etc physical buttons again are wiper blades and your indicator on the left and material quality you know it's a little bit cheap, but this is the cheapest I go, but it's not terrible. You know, it's maybe not the best fit and finish in the world, but it's not terrible um, considering the price point and all the technology you're getting in this car. Now, I'm five foot 11. I've got maybe two, two and a half inches of headroom. I have adjusted the seat just for my own comfort and got plenty of shoulder room as well in this cabin. So all in all, not too bad like space in the vehicle. Um, and it's got a manual handbrake as well, which you don't always see in 2024. I will get the full review to show you the rear and the boot, but I wanted to give you the first impression of the car. And I'm really excited, probably as you can tell, to see what this is like to drive. So stay tuned for the full review on the Cars of Glasgow channel, um, and I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching this far, and a special thanks to Helmsburg Toyota for loaning me this fun I go. Stay tuned for the next video. Ciao. <music>